Introducing AMD Ryzen Threadripper. AMD is in the midst of a big comeback this year with the release of multiple new CPUs based on the Zen architecture. The range has just been expanded with two new high-end processors known as Ryzen Threadripper. These high-end desktop CPUs feature a ton of cores, cache and PCIe lanes, and so are targeted at workstation professionals and home artists who want the very best performance in content creation applications such as CAD, CAM, BIM, 3D graphics, video editing and encoding. In this tech spec, we're going to take a closer look at these new Ryzen Threadripper CPUs to find out what makes them tick and just how fast they really are. Unlike the Ryzen 3, 5, 7 CPUs, which all share the same common architecture, simply with more cores added, Threadripper shares its design with AMD's Epic Server CPUs. This means that Threadripper CPUs don't fit into the AM4 sockets and require a socket TR4 motherboard based on the AMD X399 chipset. This puts Threadripper in a similar position to Intel's Core X CPUs, which also require a different motherboard and chipset to Intel's mainstream CPUs. At launch, there are two Threadripper CPUs, the 1950X and the 1920X. The flagship 1950X features 16 physical cores running at between 3.4 and 4 GHz, whilst the cheaper 1920X has 12 physical cores running at between 3.5 and 4 GHz. As you'd expect, both CPUs support SMT, which like Intel's hyper-threading, allows each physical core to process two threads at once, for additional performance if the application is coded appropriately. Unlike Ryzen 3, 5 and 7 CPUs, which have a dual-channel memory controller, Threadripper has a much more capable quad-channel controller, providing considerably more memory bandwidth. On paper, Threadripper supports 2666 MHz DDR4, although in our in-house testing, we could only get the RAM running this fast with just 16GB. Any more memory than that and the system was only stable at 2133 MHz. The other big difference between Ryzen 3, 5, 7 and Threadripper is the PCIe controller, with the former supporting 24 PCIe 3 lanes, while Threadripper has a far more generous 64 PCIe 3 lanes. This means that depending on the motherboard, a Threadripper system could support far more graphics cards and NVMe SSDs than a Ryzen system, which is a big selling point for workstation users. In comparison, Intel's equivalent CPUs, the Core X series, have between 6 and 10 physical cores, plus hyper-threading, a quad-channel memory controller that happily runs at 3000 MHz, plus up to 44 PCIe 3 lanes. The table on screen shows the key specifications of each of AMD's Threadripper and Intel Core X CPUs. For the purposes of this, we tested the Threadripper 1950X head-to-head -head with the Intel Core i9-7900X, as these two CPUs are closest in price. As both CPUs retail for close to £1,000 including VAT, neither CPU is really aimed at gamers, so we focused our testing on workstation applications. The Threadripper test system comprised of an Asus ROG Zenith Extreme motherboard plus 32GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 3000MHz, which we had to clock down to 2133MHz to run stably, whilst the Core i9 test system featured an Asus ROG Strix X299E gaming motherboard plus 32GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 3000MHz. Both CPUs were kept cooler by a Corsair H100 High Hydro Cooler, as this is one of the first coolers to market that supports the new TR4 socket used by Threadripper. Threadripper got off to a great start in our first test, Cinebench R15, which is based on the popular 3D content creation application Cinema 4D. As you can see in the graph, Threadripper was an astonishing 38% faster than Core i9, so Threadripper looks to be an excellent choice for 3D rendering. This pattern continued in our second test, which uses Handbrake to encode an H264 video, with the Threadripper proving 18% faster than Core i9. However, after that, Intel's Core i9 started to strike back, posting a 7% faster score whilst editing high-resolution photos in GIMP. 
We also ran both CPUs through the comprehensive spec ViewPerf 12 benchmark, which measures performance across nine popular real-world workstation applications, such as 3DS Max, Katia, Maya and SolidWorks. Interestingly, the Core i9 proved noticeably faster than Threadripper in all nine of these tests, with as much as a 15% performance lead. Finally, whilst the majority of games do not run any faster on a CPU with more than four cores, we also did some gaming tests on the two CPUs, as some users may want to play games in the evening after work. But in heaven, there was a noticeable difference, although it's arguable that both CPUs are already so fast it barely matters. Unfortunately, we didn't get very far overclocking the Threadripper 1950X CPU, as the CPU would throttle above 4 GHz, which is the turbo frequency supported by AMD. This sort of thing isn't uncommon with early hardware, and is likely to improve with future BIOS releases. However, it's still frustrating not to have been able to give Threadripper a full overclocking test. It's only fair to mention that Intel's Core X CPUs are eminently overclockable, with the Core i9-7900X reaching at least 4.3 GHz, and even higher with custom water cooling. There's no doubt in our mind that Ryzen Threadripper is a massive step forward for AMD, and marks the company's first true high-end CPU in years, delivering workstation-class performance thanks to having lots of efficient cores, plenty of memory and bandwidth, and PCIe lanes. Providing up to 16 physical cores at the launch price of £999 including VAT means the Threadripper 1950X is sensibly priced too, although it's only fair to point out that the Intel Core i9-7900X is £100 cheaper at £899 including VAT. Also, don't forget that both companies produce cheaper CPUs with fewer cores if the flagship models are beyond your budget. Performance-wise, the Threadripper 1950X is very competitive, with the Core i9-7900X delivering superior speed in some applications, but worse performance in others. This makes it hard to pick a clear-cut winner, and as such, our recommendation would be to look very closely at the performance results we've posted and choose the platform that's best for the applications that you run. After all, whichever you choose, you'll be in for a treat, as both Threadripper and Core i9 are much faster than previous generation CPUs, and thanks to the added competition in the CPU market, are much more affordably priced too. You can browse the full range of AMD Ryzen Threadripper CPUs and motherboards, plus Intel Core X CPUs and motherboards on the SCAN website, along with our award-winning 3XS systems featuring these processors.